Today I want to tell y'all how I could be the world's first pregnant transgender woman. I'm not a biological woman. I've been looking into wound transplant. Okay. What is a woman? A woman is an adult human female. There's a debate going on on the internet about what makes someone a woman, what makes someone a biological female, and some say that a uterus does not define someone as a woman. And that's actually true. Hear me out. There are certain situations where biological female, regular women with other words, do not have a uterus. And that's due to a hysterectomy, or maybe they're born without one due to an intersex condition. The only thing that defines someone as a biological female is if the person has the potential to produce eggs. A biological man is someone who has the potential to produce sperm. And yeah, it doesn't matter if the swimmers don't work and if the eggs are inactive, it's all about the potential. It still doesn't mean that trans women are just as much women as biological women. You cannot use the argument, well, some women, they get their uteruses removed and some women are born without it, so therefore trans women who are biological men, they're also women. That's not how it works. Yes, transsexual people go on cross-sex hormones and change their entire hormonal system in their body, but it doesn't change their sex. And yes, you do see some transsexual men, myself included, get their reproductive system removed, but that doesn't change my reproductive system. I still cannot produce the opposite sex gametes. I do not have X anymore, but I cannot produce sperm. With that being said, trans women will always be biological men. They can never change their sex, no matter how many surgeries they get. And speaking of surgeries, there are some trans women who would like to get a womb transplant so they can care their own child. As disturbing as that sounds, we have to talk about it. Today I want to tell y'all how I could be the world's first pregnant transgender woman. Probably wondering how can a transgender woman be pregnant if she doesn't have a uterus? Well, that's why you do a uterine transplant. A donor uterus would be planted into me, it would be fertilized, a baby would be born, and then the uterus would be taken out so my body doesn't reject it. And this procedure has already been done on some cis women, and 16 of them have been successful and babies were born from donor uterus. Oh, it actually worked? Maybe it's because we're talking about biological women. Who knows what will happen if you put a uterus into a man? I don't think that the outcome will be the same for obvious reasons. Of course, the baby technically would not be my biological child unless I chose to fertilize the egg with my frozen man juice. And this should all be possible within like the next 10 to 20 years. So when I'm like 28 years old, I could get pregnant. I really hope you don't. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised that this person is only like 18 in this clip because this sounds like a very immature person. I am a commercial model and also a television personality. I have reinvented myself throughout the years with the help of the best doctors in the world. The internet personality Jessica Alves is very known for her many, many plastic surgeries. I have had every single body modification that I could possibly have. She's apparently a trans woman now, and she would like to get pregnant someday, so let's react to that. I am a woman, but I'm not a biological woman. Therefore, I had to put myself through plastic surgeries and body modifications alongside uh, psychological treatment to be the woman that I am today. But you're not a woman. Do you know why? Because what is a woman? You're a biological man living your life as if you were a woman. Jessica, welcome to the Ghanaian Fertility Academy. How can I help you today? I'm here today to understand what are the options available sure. for us to get pregnant. Because I really want to have a baby. Let me start off by asking, do you have a male partner? I'm a single woman. Well, you've come to the right place. For people like you, we have um, three options. We have what's called IUI, IVF, and ICSI. Oh my God, he doesn't know that she's a biological male. How can that not be the first thing that you say? Or why can't you let him know before the appointment? That sounds all pretty amazing. But there is a piece of information that I have to tell you. Yeah? I'm not a biological woman. I've been looking into wound transplant. Okay. And I've traveled to different countries in order to understand about it. Okay. The risks and the complications are a little bit scary. The first successful uh, uterine transplants happened in 2014 in Sweden. So that, that's less than a decade ago. So this is a biological man with 
obvious mental health issues. We're not talking about women getting womb transplants. We're talking about a man, a biological male, getting something into his body that doesn't belong there. So there's still a lot of research going into it. So at the moment, I wouldn't necessarily recommend for you to have a womb transplant, but research is improving. So just keep your eyes out and then hopefully in a few years time, both biological women and non-biological women are able to have safe and successful womb transplants. I know that he said that he doesn't recommend her doing it, but like, why can't he say, don't do it ever? Don't do it in two years or in 10 years. Do not do it because it's stupid as f We're not even performing the best bottom surgeries for trans people. Why do we even have a conversation about a womb transplant? I don't get it. I'm so much in touch with my femininity and my feminine side that I forget that I'm not a biological woman, that I can't have a child. So you're actually admitting that you're delusional. You forget that you can't get pregnant. Do you also forget that you can't even close your eyes or breathe through your nose? Of course, I don't judge people getting plastic surgery, but she's clearly very addicted and she's on the extreme side of plastic surgery. Is anyone surprised no matter what this person does? It's never enough. Now it's, I need a baby. Yeah, exactly. I think there's something very selfish about her wanting to carry a child, even though she's a biological male. And I think it's because the procedure is extremely dangerous and experimental. I'm pretty sure that the trans women I do know in real life don't want in any way this type of surgery because the trans women I know are not delusional. They know their biology. I'm a bit concerned about how well she can care for a child, not because of her gender or anything, but because a child being raised by someone obsessed with plastic surgery and famous for doing so could be pretty damaging for a child's self-worth. Period. What I'm extremely worried about in Jessica's situation is how people around her are lying to her. I do Jessica's Botox and fillers. We do the maintenance every few weeks. Do you think that I need more plastic surgery, Ozzy? No, you don't need. You look perfect. You look perfect. And that is fuel to her delusions. We're talking about a person who will do literally anything. She would risk her own life and potentially a baby's life to be a woman even though they would never be it. So Jessica is clearly not well when she can't comprehend that she will always be a biological male. And to me, that doesn't sound like a transsexual or a person with gender dysphoria because it is actually possible to acknowledge your biology when you're a transsexual. So when I hear all these activists being so delusional, like Jessica, I'm doubting if they're actually trans. But I will say I don't get the trans activist vibe from Jessica. I, I don't see her as woke. I just see her as delusional and it seems like her mental health is really, really bad. Someone has to say no to her. Someone has to say no. You can literally not be alive anymore if you do this. I actually feel really bad for her when I think about it. And not only do I think it's inappropriate for her friend to lie to her, this doctor she visited also lied to her to some degree. He acknowledged her as a woman, like she's a real woman. And I think that's a problem especially when you're a doctor. And yeah, he did not recommend the womb transplant and whatever, but you gotta be more honest with your patients when they're that delusional, when their mental health is so, so bad. I think the reason why the doctor's not more honest with Jessica is because he doesn't wanna hurt her feelings and he doesn't wanna be canceled, getting accused of being a transphobe or whatever. If you truly cared about your patient, be honest with them, tell them the truth. If an adult man walks into a trans clinic wanting to be a five-year-old girl, it's the doctor's responsibility to say, no, no can do, my friend. Get out. <laughs> or, hey, I know this psychiatrist who might help you. Does that sound like such a bad idea? So we can't really blame the man who wants to be a five-year-old girl. We can't really blame Jessica Alvis for having certain wishes. We need to blame the people who don't deal with major mental health issues who actually live in reality and have degrees.
This surgeon is planning to transplant a uterus into a transgender woman. Uterus transplants have been carried out many times before in cis women. But there's only been one case of a womb being inserted into a trans woman back in 1931, Danish artist Lily Elba, who sadly died from post-surgical complications. Impregnating the transplanted uterus of a trans woman would be an even bigger feat. It would require IVF, where the eggs are fertilized outside their body and then reinserted because of a lack of functioning ovaries. It would also require a C-section because the pelvis in a trans woman would be non-gynecoid. It would be too narrow. I think the idea behind the surgery is unbelievably selfish and it's dangerous. So that's it. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. If you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want, you can support me with a donation under super thanks. I would be really, really grateful because it does help me out a lot. So thank you. Remember, you can become a member of this channel. I will leave a link down below. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.